everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent. And in this video clip, I would like to talk a little bit about populations, samples and observations, because these are very important terms when we look at statistics. So what do these things actually mean? Now, let's say we have a population here. And this could be the population of all the students um, at the University of Kent, say. We've got about 18,000 students. And my project is to find out how tall are these students on average. So I could, of course, measure all 18,000 students and find out how tall they are. But that's a little bit of a waste of time. So what I could do really is I could take simply a sample of students and um, this is represented here through this circle. So as I said, this one here is the population, the whole population of all the students. And this one here would be a sample. And I just simply measure, say, 10 students, uh, how tall they are. So I get my first observation, that's uh, student number one, second observation, student number two, third student, that's another observation, and I measure about, say, 10 students. So 10 students. And what I can do now is, of course, I can calculate the average of these students. So this would be the average of a sample, and we usually write this as x bar. And that would be my first sample here. So sample 1. And this gives me my first um, average of this particular sample. Now, of course, I can go away and say, well, maybe, maybe the sample wasn't terribly good. Let's take a different sample. Let's take a sample of another group of students. So this would be my sample two, my second sample. And again, <coughs> I can measure a certain number of students, say observation one. That's my first uh, student uh, here in this sample two. Observation two, that would be my uh, second student, and so on and so forth. And um, again, I can do that how often I like. So that would be uh, observation n. And I can, again, calculate the average of these students, and I would get another average. Now, and I can do that, you know, several times. So this would be sample three, and so on and so forth. And um, one thing that we probably will immediately see that if I take this sample here, and I get a certain average, this average is probably quite close to the population average. For the population average, we usually write this Greek letter mu. And hopefully our second sample average would be close to this uh, population uh, mean or average. But these two um, averages for sample one might not be exactly might not be exactly the same as the average from sample two, as this one. They might be close to each other, and hopefully they would be, but it is very unlikely that they are precisely the same. Now, one of the big questions is, what do we mean by that, exactly the same? 
or not exactly the same, but still coming from the same population. And uh, this particular issue is subject to what we call hypothesis testing. Now, in this case here, the two means come from the same population here, and the only difference between these two sample means is introduced by what is called the sampling error. So we can probably say any differences between the average for sample one and sample two is caused just simply by the sampling method, caused by taking samples. And this phenomenon is actually called sampling error. So sampling error. So, if there is a slight difference, let's say x1, that is 175 centimeters, so that was my average, the first average uh, for the first sample, and x bar 2, the average for the second sample is, say, 179 centimeters. Um, this difference of four centimeters between these two averages is probably caused by this sampling error, but in a way they are very close to each other. Now, if I had another average, say average A, let's call it just simply A, this would be say uh, 235 centimeters, then the question is, is this, is this average close to these averages? So is it possible that this is just simply due to sampling error? Or could it be that this XA is not actually from the same population? So is the mean of uh, sample A close to X1 and X2, X bar 2? the average, or, so, in a way, is this difference here just simply due to sampling error, or is there something else? So, is there another reason for this difference? It could very well be that there was a basketball team on campus, uh, which not necessarily were students, and I measured, just by chance, I measured uh, this sample, and I got this group here, and therefore I can say then, if this is not just due to sampling error, I must have taken uh, a different group. So this is what it's all about, population, population, samples and observations, and this very important concept of sampling error. I hope this makes sense to you and thank you very much for watching.